The boxing gods have answered my prayer. Thank you, boxing gods. Counterpunch boxing. Okay, I've been waiting. Jeff Headbutt Horn versus Terrence Crawford. Now, remember, 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 they made the original offer. Jeff Horn turned it down. Okay, they said, no, 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 no. You know, I beat Manny Pacquiao. I'm worth more than that. So what do they do? They hit him with another offer. He took it. Not to mention, not to mention, remember, Crawford, moving up to welterweight division, become became the number one mandatory. Now, why are you looking at this great artwork I've created especially for you? Why? Because, look, I, look I'm going to give you guys the 30-second the, the breakdown here in a minute. But first, you know, we, we got we got Jeff Headbutt. Hello, mate. Jeff Headbutt Horn here. Yeah, I beat Manny Pacquiao. Yep, 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 indeed. Crocodile Dundee. Crocky Jeff Horn. <laughs> Terrence Crawford right here. You know, I think it looks kind of like him. And, of course, Big Bad Bob Arum right here. Confused and all about money. Now, why are you looking at this beautiful, beautiful artwork that I've created for you guys? Well, because it's personal. Okay, It got personal. It got personal, okay? About, what, about, uh, I guess, about four or five months ago, whatever, the Pacquiao horn fight, don't quite remember exactly when it was, I made a video exposing, yes, exposing Jeff Horn for the headbutts, the low blows, you know, the rabbit punches, the the tackling, the elbows, the forearms, the the hitting after the bell, the hitting, you know, after the break, the clint, just the, the I have not seen a dirty fighter fight so dirty I can't even remember the last time, not Mayweather, you know, none of them. Like, it, it was the dirtiest fight, not an Andre Ward. It was the dirtiest fight I've ever, ever, ever seen. So I made a video about it. The video goes viral. And then, and, and here's the crazy thing. Okay, I make the video and I get a copyright strike. That's right, a copyright strike. Bam, copyright strike like months later okay and i'm like what the hell is, like what the hell is this right i'm looking at it and it says you know top rank incorporated you know request that you take this down blah 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 copyright 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 so i'm like and all i did i simp i used a screenshot of jeff horn and pacquiao that's it you know other channels out there they have in they have the entire fight on their channels okay they have video clips i mean picture after picture after picture but because i told the truth and uh you know i basically Exposed Jeff Horn, I get a copyright strike. So that's right. You know, you got top rank, big bad top rank going after little old channels like mine, little YouTube channels like mine. And, you know, I was really upset about it because I've been a hardcore supporter of top rank. Now, remember Jeff Horn, Duco Promotions, Bob Aram, you know, he goes over there to Australia and he gets Jeff Horn and Duco Promotions says, look, you know, I'll give you Pacquiao. You know, he's like my sacrificial lamb. And, you know, we'll get the Jeff Horn Pacquiao fight. You know, we'll get it going. It'll happen. But I want to merge. Okay. So it was a business deal. Manny Pacquiao was nothing but a pawn and, and, and Jeff Horn, you know, he just got rewarded the fight. You know, it's his lucky day. He hit the Pacquiao lottery. Okay. Basically then Pacquiao gets robbed. That's right. Completely robbed. You have the most biased channels on the planet that to this day will tell you Pacquiao won that fight. Okay. The corruption was so deep. I mean, you know, look, you know, people in Australia, you know, I got nothing but love for you. Really, you, you, you're beautiful people, okay? Nothing but love, okay? Australia, beautiful place, all right? But Jeff Horn, look, he's not, rep he did not represent you guys well. And you, you got you got to understand, I mean, you know, come on, he's in the, you, you cannot headbutt Manny Pacquiao. I mean, look, man, Pacquiao's a boxing legend going into the Hall of Fame, and you got this Jeff Horn in there, like, treating him like a rag doll, right? I mean, it was, you know, to me, it was criminal what went down in that ring. I mean, Jeff Horn should have left that boxing arena in handcuffs. That's right, I said it, in hand. Cuffs. I mean, go back and look at look at look at the reaction from Stephen A. Smith. You know, not a big Pacquiao supporter, mainly a Mayweather supporter. You know, look at look at Teddy Atlas. I mean, look, people were irate. Okay, they were absolutely irate. Okay, and then now you know you have T Teddy Atlas basically being banned. You know, from from uh, calling pretty much any fight in the future. I mean, where do you think that came from, Bob Arum? Right. Bob Arum. I mean, so, you know, it's crazy. So, you know, like I said, you got top rank uh, attacking little channels like mine and uh, it, it's it's not right. OK, because uh, like I said, I have made top rank 
thousands and thousands of dollars, you know, making these videos, supporting their fighters, putting people in the seats, getting people to buy pay-per-view, you know, hyping up fights, the interest, the everything, you know, and it's crazy that, that they would attack a little channel like mine. So, like I said, it is personal. Now, like I said, my prayers have been answered because I know there is no way in hell, okay, no way in double H-E-L or, or what do you say? There is no way in H-E double hockey sticks, all right, that Crawford is going to lose to Jeff Headbutt Horn. It's not going to happen. You know, so I'm like, why? I mean, why are they even making the fight? Well, he's a mandatory. You know, he's got you. He doesn't have a choice, right? Because, you know, we know Crawford moving up from 140 to 147. Now he's the mandatory for that WBO. Jeff Horn doesn't have a choice now i thought he might vacate i mean honestly i i and, I, and here's the thing his coach glenn uh rushton okay you know he said look the fight's basically finalized you know we got to cross some t's dot some i bob aram's got to tidy some things up I and mean, that's what he said verbatim and then the contract's finalized but it's not done until it's done okay so but basically it's a done deal now i wouldn't be i mean i wouldn't be shocked if jeff horn backed out vacated the belt you know, because he knows he is not on that level. He's not on the Terrence Crawford. Here, you know, he's thinking, I know what he's thinking. You know, Crawford's moving up. Oh, I'm going to be the bigger bully. But look, here's the thing. Crawford will not allow Jeff Horn to do what Manny Pacquiao allowed Jeff Horn to do. And especially, especially if the fight is in the States. Now, if they do it over there in, the, in, in corrupt Australia, who knows? Anything can happen. But those officials over there, I mean, you want to talk about Adelaide Bird and the Gennady Golovkin scorecard. I mean, I think the, the officials over there are more corrupt than that scorecard. I mean, to me, in 2017, I mean, not 2017, of the decade, that fight was the most corrupt thing I've seen in boxing of the decade okay you know you're thinking oh no no no, you're being too hard on headbutt jeff horn no no i'm not i'm really not like i said it's personal i want crawford to beat the brakes off of him i want him to expose jeff horn and uh, it'll make my day i'll watch the fight I, every night uh, <laughs> i'll just go to bed watching it you know watching you know, jeff jeff horn get knocked out because that's that's exactly what's going to happen now let's say he he somehow makes it through 12 rounds okay and of course they're going to award crawford a, a decision it's only a matter of time okay this look Jeff Horn, and no disrespect, but he is the next Chris Algieri, okay? He's going to get his little 15 minutes of fame in boxing, and he will be the next Chris Algieri. So mark my words, people. I'm telling you now, April 21st. Does that sound familiar? T-Mobile Arena. Okay, they're saying T-Mobile Arena, Las Vegas. As of now, that's the venue, and I hope it is. April 21st. If you follow my channel, you know Amir Khan, TBA fighting, TBA to be announced on April 21st. Boxing is a very competitive sport. That's right. Boxing is a very competitive sport. So on that night, you're going to have Amir Khan versus who the hell ever. And then you're going to have a Jeff Horn and a Crawford fight. So it's going to be a good day for boxing. But like I said, the, God, God, the gods have answered my prayers. I'm, I've been waiting for this. And I was really pissed off. And they were like, you know, they announced the fight, right? And I'm like, oh. Okay, finally, a little bit of vengeance here. Okay, and then and then they're like, okay, no deal, no fight. And I'm like thinking, damn, like you know, now he's and he went and fought some other dude. I forget who, uh, some complete no name. Now here's the thing: you are the you are a world champion holding the WBO, and he's going. I, and I don't even know if he even fought the guy. I mean, I don't. I'm not going to go look. I'm not going to waste my time looking. I don't know anything about Jeff Horn. All I know is he's fought a bunch of nobodies, and due to corruption, you know, he was gifted a belt by robbing Pacquiao that's all I know about him you know that's all I need to know so you know I'm probably going to cut it just cut it right there but uh you know what do you guys think do you agree with me I mean do you disagree and I'm not being harsh in fact I'm being comical about the whole thing I could go really hard on this dude but I'm not 